Hi Leo, it's Power and Light Tarot coming at you with the reading. Leo, this is one of their true intentions in love. Let's see what we have for you, Leo. We're going to see how you are seeing yourself. Yeah. And let's see. You have the death card. So you look like you're ending a situation here, Leo. All right. Or, you know, riding out of town or riding into town on this horse here with, you know, this armory on. All right. Yeah. It's going to get a little warm for that. That armory, Leo, right? At least in North America. <laughs> uh, yeah. But you're riding into like kind of like... Uh, it could be pilferage, but it's kind of like, you know, uh, disaster here, right? And, yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see how your person is seeing themselves. Show me how Leo's person is seeing themselves. The Two of Cups. Okay, this could mean that they're really in love with you. This could mean they have somebody else. Uh, let's see. Let's get another card for you, Leo. While you have death, we're going to clarify these cards. The world card. Oh, you're ending it. You're ending a cycle for sure. King of Wands. That's you. We're gonna leave it like that, or maybe with a king, maybe with another fire sign. Your person's energy is uh, how they are seeing themselves, right? Two of Cups and the Eight of Wands. This is change, and the Nine of Cups. So your person is going through changes, and you're ending a cycle. Maybe they're ending it with you, and they have somebody here. But this is this like the, this looks like there's an ending to this union already, right? So let's get into the reading. But let's pull some oracle cards here. Yeah, we got to kind of keep it fun, right? Yeah, see what we got for Leo and their person. I hope I didn't say Aries. And we have the mouse spirit. Tend to the small things. All right, and whatever those are, bills. I don't know. Maybe those are big things. But let's see what else we have for Leo. Could just be any details, right? And Al Spirit, you can see clearly now you have some wisdom. I feel like it's you who who does you or them, but somebody is clear about an ending. Let's get another card. Let's get another deck. Yeah, let's get another deck for uh, Leo and their person. Let's see what we have for Leo and their person. Show me the energy for Leo and their person. And we have message in a bottle. Okay, for me, this is like a, a text on a phone, right, these days, right? Unless, you know, uh, you know you're never going to find a message in a bottle. I find them to be highly, they do find them once in a while, yeah, uh, once in a great while. I find that to be highly uh, intriguing and fascinating, right? Uh, because, you know, way, way, way back in the day, what else could they do, especially if they needed to be rescued, right, on an island or something like that? Your person's going to... Uh, there's a message here, you know, there might be third-party energy here. There could be, uh, you know, could be picking up on that. But the message in a bottle, it doesn't have to be, but there may be, is, you know, somebody's contacting you here. <clears throat> Let's see what else we have. Or you are. Yang. So this is about manifesting. It's about having power, personal power. And maybe you are a manifesto. Right, Leo? You could be a manifesto. I never really use that word, but I feel like that's what it means. But uh, if it means uh, different, you guys can let me know. Uh, you guys don't. You guys are not afraid to say, "Look, power of light, wake up." That's not what manifesto means. All right, you could be doing that. All right, Leo, because I know how Leo is. All right, yeah, Leo is the lion, and uh, what else? The king of wands, and <clears throat> the sun, right? And, yeah, the strength card, all this stuff. The king of the zodiac, the king of the jungle, right? Yeah, okay. Come on, Leo, give somebody else a throne, all right? Yeah, don't don't be, like, bogarting every position, all right? Don't do that. I don't like like that opinion. <laughs> Just kidding. Let's look at your, your current energy. Let's see what we have for Leo. It is the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, you could be dealing with Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. We have the cute guy here. I mean, he's, you know, he's a young guy here. He's... He's the guy who basically has different jobs. He's going to the prom or something like that with his tux on, and he has his lawnmower here. So this is somebody who will, you know, take any job, like another job, like somebody who has a day job or a career or a business, a company, whatever. And if they have time, you know, or, you know, they'll take on something different on the weekend, right? Look, hey, we're going to have, uh, you know, uh, we're going to do this. Uh, we're going to, you know, maybe have uh, some type of, uh, a project going on, could be anything, could be, you know, just could be anything going on on the weekend, you know, uh, 
maybe they are, you know, getting people together and just making money somehow because this person is super enterprising. All right, there we go. Five of Swords, uh, Leo. Oh, God. The King of Swords is going to be in your, uh, in the why it's all happening. And uh, you want the hair fit. Maybe you want this TV from 1950, uh, right? Yeah. Because that, that's, maybe that's 55, but uh, I was born in 60, and they didn't look like that in 1960. <laughs> maybe they did. Actually, maybe they did, because uh, I, honestly, we didn't really, uh, I mean, I was just born then, but I remember in, like, 68, uh, the TVs were not that great. No, they weren't. And, yeah, there was no TV in the middle of the night. It would shut off. And it would show you this color spectrum here, <laughs> right? Yeah, and it would talk about, you know, how the emergency or the broadcasting was shut down for the night, stuff like that. And then later they'd have old movies, right? So let's get into this reading here. And let's continue. Where are those cards at? Uh, let's see, we got... Uh, here they are. Okay. So you're in the Knight of Pentacles. This is not you. This is somebody I feel like you're dealing with. Somebody who could be really enterprising. Somebody who takes charge. They have a great career, etc. The Five of Swords is the challenge, or not even the challenge, the, the crossing energy, I should say. This lady here is, you know, your energy, you could be, this Five of Swords is about somebody who's trying to make their wardrobe, like, you know, from scratch. Like, they make everything, everything they wear, they made themselves, and these are supposed to be housewives. So, what this means is that you're taking on too many things to do. That's what you're doing, Leo. you got 800,000 things you're doing right now. It could be kids, career, uh, you know, maybe some other type of business on the side, kind of like this Knight of Pentacles. Uh, but that's what you're doing. You're taking on too many things. You are. And now you have the King of Swords, and this is about a decision. I feel like you're, let's see, let's get a card with this about this Five of Swords, right? And here it is with the Four of Pentacles. So you're taking on way too many things, and you're, you're holding on to somebody as well. Maybe it's money. Maybe you're trying to do too many things in order for you to hold on to money. Let's, get a, let's look at this Five of Swords, because it's a little different in, the, yeah, in this deck. I'm really getting to know these cards, though. Accepting limitations, realism, and time management. Yeah, okay, I was referring to time management, right? But maybe you are accepting limitations here. I feel like right away you look like you're accepting limitations and that you can't do everything, and maybe you should just hold on to one person. I feel like that's the case over here. I feel like you can see clearly now, owl spirit, like you, you have your wisdom. Like, you know now, I can't have maybe three lovers or two lovers. I need just one. I'm way too busy with my time management. I feel like you are, like, kind of, and this is about reality, realism. It's the same thing. You look like you're ending, you're seeing yourself as ending something, and your person is seeing themselves as going through changes. Now, they could have somebody great here. Uh, two of Cups, Nine of Cups, somebody they're in love with, I, that's probably, maybe it's just you. But they're seeing themselves as going through changes, and you're seeing yourself as going through an ending. You could be putting them through changes is my whole point. Right, Leo? Yeah, you could. And let's see what else we have. Uh, and the King of Swords, this is somebody who's making a decision, somebody who's stubborn, somebody who may be stubborn. You know, all have to be stubborn, Right. But, you know, this could be somebody who's stubborn and kind of making a decision here. And somebody who, like, calls the shots. Yeah, kind of like the Emperor in this deck. Why is that King of Swords at? Or Leo. Hope I don't call you guys Aries. Nine of Swords, you're worried. You're worried about holding on to somebody, Leo. You're almost in tears here at night, all right? Don't do that, Leo, because, you know, you guys like to be in the spotlight. And, you know, we want you to look good, all right? You got to get your sleep. You got to get your beauty sleep. Don't ever underestimate, you know... Beauty sleep, because it's there for beauty and health, right? It repairs your face at night, you get less wrinkles, and it repairs your body. So people who don't sleep well, their, their legs can ache during the day. Yeah, your body's not replacing or repairing. Rep. So the hair fit is going to be what you want. So this is, I feel like, uh, this is challenges. Let's look at that hair fit, because... These people are different. Yeah, they have a different take on life. They do, or on the tarot. 
That's what I like about them. They're, uh, they are unique. They are different. And the Hierophant is about, no, it's about not challenges. It's about harsh truths, which is similar, right? So it's kind of on the right track here. Harsh truths, answers, and wisdom. This is what you want. You want your wisdom. This is why you can you see clearly now with the owl spirit. Maybe that's your person, but I feel like it's you. I feel like you're gaining your wisdom what to do here. I also feel like you know you, you have to leave somebody here to, to hold on to somebody possibly. And if you don't have to leave somebody, definitely you're trying to hold on to somebody here. All right? So let's get a card on this here, Phil, which is really harsh truths and wisdom. You want answers regarding harsh truths. Yeah. That's hard to say, harsh truths. I don't really like that. Do you guys like that? Say that? No. <laughs> the hierophant is what you want. The C, you want to leave. You want the answer here. You want to leave somebody, and it's kind of like a harsh truth, like the wisdom behind it. And the two of pentacles is what you're fearing. And this lady is, you know, she's kind of uh, juggling her duties here. Like, you know, she's a housewife. She stays home. She takes care of her kids, right? She's, I mean, she's lucky because she doesn't have to go to work, she can, you know, actually, you know, if you want that, right, I feel like it was, you know, I mean, if you were happily married back in the day, and your husband could pay all the bills, and you had little kids, you know, why not, I'd like to stay home with little kids, for sure, and then uh, I did that for a little while, too, Let's see what we got, I mean, not forever, not when they're like, you know, 14, and you're still at home, <laughs> and we have the Eight of Cups, and this is, you know, what you're, this is what you're fearing, you're afraid somebody's going to leave. Eight of Cups. The same person you're stressed out about holding on to. Your person's energy, let's get cards on them. Yeah, you're afraid if you don't kind of... You're juggling like this decision here to walk away from somebody here. And you feel like you're being pulled from both ends. That's what it is. The little boy's pulling his mother's skirt. And she's, you know, she's wearing an apron. And the dog is biting at her skirt on the other side. Let's, like, take me for a walk, kind of. Oh, he has a shoe in his mouth. Or is that her skirt? I can't really tell. But, you know, the point about it is that she is still kind of juggling the whole situation. Like, you know, her hands are out. So let's see. Balance, responsibilities, and pressure. Yeah. So you feel pressured by this situation. That's what I was just saying. Stressed. You think somebody's going to leave you. Your person's energy is the hermit in the reverse. Oh, we're probably going to place it upright. And they have the judgment card, and uh, yeah, okay, the hangman. Maybe they're Pisces. They have major arcana here, three major arcanas, and you know, you have one. Your person's going through major changes here, like I said, right? So the hermit card is somebody who is, you know, uh, kind of, you know, this lady here, she has like all these bars of soap. She's, she's so cute. She's sitting in that green bathtub. That's how they used to look. I'm sure back in the day they were pretty, but... If you've ever walked into like, you know, if you you know a realtor or any house doesn't even have to be a realtor. You went house hunting, and you saw a house that was not updated. You're like, oh, horrible. <laughs> let's see what that hermit card is, unless you know, maybe unless you kind of uh, repair it or you know redo it. Let's see what the hermit card is about. And it's about meditation, solitude, and soul searching. Yeah, this lady is taking a bath. She's soul searching. This is what your person is doing. Judgment here. They're worried you're going to judge them on some level because the lady here is a ribeye steak. That's the best steak if you guys like meat. Yeah, it's the, for me it's the juiciest. It is like the fattiest too, but you can cut the fat off, you guys. But the point about it is that, uh, you know, this ribeye steak is really, for meat lovers, is... Uh, Prime rib, yeah, if you, the prime rib is really good too as long as it's, you know, made right and not overcooked and things like that. But this lady is a steak and she's in the, because she's worried that she's going to be judged by her weight. Your person is worried that you're judging them, all right, unless they're really worried about their weight here, right? But she's not eating any carbs. No, she's not. Your person, it looks like, <laughs> they're afraid you're going to judge them. So maybe they're not doing whatever it is that is making you judge them. Let's have a look here for ju judgment, right? Which is, I feel like it's near the end, right near the end. Yes, it is, right before the world. Assessment, ex acceptance, and harsh criticism. Uh, and this person, unless they are criticizing you, but I feel like they are... Uh, I feel like they're feeling judged here, or they could be accepting some harsh criticism. 
<clears throat> it could be the kind of criticism where I want to leave. Like, I'm not in love with you anymore. I want to go. I want to go, Joe. And let's get a card on for your person. This looks kind of rough for them. It does. Why is that judgment card there for Leo's person? And they have the Ten of Swords. You see what I mean? Harsh ending here. OMG. All right. Either that, uh, Leo, or you've been starving them of red meat. All right. And they might be anemic. Okay. Don't do that. All right. Let them have a bite of your steak. All right, Leo? Yeah, don't be cheap. Okay. <laughs> Just teasing. Okay, your person is dealing with, uh, I feel like it's betrayal and a harsh ending, OMG. And why it's all happening for them is a nine of pentacles. This is independence. They could be accepting that this is over, OMG. This can talk about their clarity. It's in the root. It's not the challenge. Six of wands. Wow, they look like they are accepting that this is over. They feel like you're judging them harshly, Leo. I know a Leo, and she, you know, she cracks me up. Okay, so let's see what we got. <laughs> Page of Cups here. Yeah, they're accepting this. They know you have a love offer for somebody, and that's what your energy is about. Oh, this is a good reading. I mean, maybe not for your person, but the Page of Pentacles is what they want with the Knight of Pentacles. This is what they're hoping for. Let's look at the Page of Pentacles. And this is, you know, mommy's little helper and daddy's little entrepreneur. And this is what they want. I feel like this could be the person that you want. Because your, your energy, Leo, is the Knight of Pentacles. And this is like an entrepreneurial person. And so is this Page of Pentacles. Right? Mommy's little helper and daddy's little entrepreneur. And over here, this is somebody who is an entrepreneur as well. Like somebody who is always willing to take on another project, a new career, uh, I'll be a lawyer and, you know, uh, on the weekend I will, you know, maybe be, you know, uh, sell real estate or something like that. Let's get a card. Let's look at that page of pentacles. I already know what it's about, though. It is mommy's little helper. Yeah. Let's see what else we might see here, though, right? Uh, there could be some more. Uh, they might elaborate on it. They could. And the page. Let's see what we have for the page. A little page. And... Possessions, determination, and fastidiousness. Your person could be this person. Because the the knights, the knight of pentacles, uh, rather, is somebody who has some financial stability. They're holding the coin, and they take good care of their things. I know a Virgo who is, like, totally into taking care of everything they have. They dress nice. They got their hair cut perfect. Yeah. And they are perfectionists. That's why it says meticulous. Yeah, or fastidiousness. That's what that is. Let's get a card. Your person is an earth sign most likely, and you could be, that's the person you want, it looks like. Maybe it's a king, the king of swords is here. It could be an air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, or Libra. Your person could be, but it looks like definitely you have a, a, an earth sign or you're leaving an earth sign. Either one, the six of cups, somebody from your past, this is what they want. Uh, this is incomplete. Yeah, the devil. Okay, so they have fear here. They want to release themselves here. Or they just have major fear about an earth sign. Maybe it's Capricorn with the devil. The eight of swords here. Here they are, all fenced in. Don't fence me in, Leo. Right? Yeah, they might, you know, they might be a boxer, right? But my point about it is that your person here is in fear about an earth sign, I feel like. And here they are in the eight of swords. Like, I don't know what to do. There's nothing I can do to, re to kind of win the situation. I'm worried here about what's going to happen. And uh, I don't see a way out. The hangman is what they're fearing and the world card. They think you're going to hang them out to dry. That's what the lady's doing to her husband here. Right? He's upside down and she's kind of like laughing here. Like, hey, screw with me and I'll hang you up. They're afraid you're going to do that. Right? And then she has her panties here or her chonies or her bloom or, you know, whatever you want to call these, kind of whatever country you're from. <laughs> but, you know, she's hanging out her panties here and her husband's over here and he's upside down. So, you know, this is what your patient, your person is, they're fearing you're going to sacrifice them and hang them out to dry and end a cycle. Wow. We're going to go to the extended, uh, yeah, this is like, uh, I feel like it's a compelling reading, uh, probably because these cards are a little different, right? Yeah. The housewife's card, we're going to see all about them, how they feel, Leo, and about you, the underlying energies, how they're seeing the situation. 
what's most important to them or fundamental actions they're going to take, what they hide, and their true intentions are all super affordable. Thank you so much for joining me here, and God bless. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe.